Welcome back everyone to Dragon Age 2 here on Serious Gaming on the Nightmare difficulty. Don't forget to check out the playlist on the upper right side of the YouTube video page. I'm gonna do Finding Nathaniel, I had to use the console commands, you can check the wiki for that. Just uh, check the wiki page for Finding Nathaniel, if you're playing on the PC there's a solution there if you have problems with this. Uh, damn, I just had to alt hub right there and then. Bit of a problem. Especially concerning the game just decided to go from full screen mode to windowed mode for whatever reason. Alright, it's recording. Good. Okay, that's my exit. Let's go find Nathaniel. Back in deep roads. Hmm. Not interested. Hello there, Nathaniel. Mind to blow. Yeah, the dark punch should be easy to deal with. Hello there. Nathaniel How. You're the champion of Kirkwall, aren't you? And... Anders. Making friends as always, I see. There's no escaping you, it seems. I'm special that way. That's one way to put it. Delilah says you followed my expedition's route. Why? You went further into the deep roads than anyone believed possible. The first warden himself ordered this investigation. I was offered a generous share of the salvage, plus extra coin up front to discourage any curiosity. You're a warden, couldn't he just have ordered you? Eh, uh, whatever. It looks like you met heavy resistance. After the warden commander spared the architect. We thought the ensuing struggle among the Darkspawn might make the Deep Roads safer. The Warden's allies assured us these tunnels would still be mostly clear. But it seems they were wrong. Hmm. Who is the Architect? The Architect was the first of the speaking and thinking Darkspawn. Very dangerous. He spread his gift to other Darkspawn. The Disciples. Fortunately, their numbers are few. They seem to know a great deal about Darkspawn. Are these allies dwarves? No, not dwarves. It's complicated. Let's just say we live in strange times. Oh, you don't say. I don't remember drawing anyone a map to the tide. Who told you about it? An unfortunate dwarf named Bartrand. We weren't sure his information was reliable, but contacting you or Barrick was deemed risky. We feared you might return if you learned of our interest in the Tide. My mission was to find you. I've done that, so let's go. I cannot leave now. When we were attacked, I was separated from the rest of my expedition. Some of them may yet live. Hmm. We must go deeper into the tunnels to rescue them. Who else could be alive? Some wardens survived the initial ambush. I think the dwarf we brought from Vigil's Keep survived. But who still lives? Only the Maker knows. We have survivors to find. Let's go. Crawling through blight-infested tunnels, rescuing wardens in peril. This is what I signed on for. We should move. Stay alert for Darkspawn. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Indeed. Here they come. He does very little damage. Still, he's a useful distraction. Well, if 
things considered, he is a useful distraction, considering he cannot die. Alright. Master Howe, you live. Temerin, good man. Are there any other survivors? Hopefully, up ahead. Well met our strangers in the belly of the earth. I hope Sir Fenley won't mind, but I set up the explosives here and there. Figured I'd blow up as many of the spawn as I could before I embraced the stone. How did you manage to get Kunari explosives? These aren't Kunari explosives. They're dwarven made, and don't you forget it. Temerin's cousin Dworkin made the explosives back in Vigil's keep. Aye, and that he did, before the sudden Kunari forced him into hiding. What were you going to do with these explosives? We were prepared to do extensive excavations around the Taig you found. A few well-placed booms prove most efficacious at clearing rubble. Let's teach these Darkspawn a lesson. Temerin, the way behind us is clear. Send word to the Wardens in case we don't make it. Aye. I've set explosives all along the tunnels. Blow up as many of the sodding spawn as you can. Luck to you both. Alright. Let's go. That wasn't really useful. Come on, Ogre. Things considered, that was fairly easy. Hey, Bethany, need help? My sister. You don't look well, Bethany. Are you injured? Injured? I have the dark spawn taint forever in my veins, barely held in check by the warden's rituals. I'm sorry. You did the best you could. I wish there'd been a better way. Oh, yeah. We don't have time for this. The Darkspawn approach. Great. That's for Varric. Or coming. Another ogre bites the dust.
Oh, right. Okay. Stone fist the bastard. Take a mighty blow to the head, mate. There we go. For the first time since I've been down here, I don't sense a single darkspawn. We've won. The route to the surface should be safe now. Because of you, I will see my sister and nephew again. Please, take this with my blessing. I apologize, I couldn't answer all your questions. You may have them yet in the fullness of time. Stay safe, Nathaniel. You as well. He will help. In the final battle, he will help. Okay, Hawk has gained a level. Um, Spend them there. Hmm. <laughs> I wish I knew what to spend these points on, to be honest. Hmm. Physical damage, okay. What about... Yeah, let's upgrade that. I'm gonna upgrade that tree first, then upgrade Berserker if I ever get the points. If I ever get the opportunity to do so. Actually, let's go to Sandermont. It's, there's an evil tome I want to deal with. I did miss one in Act 2, so I will not be able to complete the quest. Still, it is some experience, and that's useful to me one way or another. Level 21. Will I get 25 by the end of the game? Hmm. Don't think so, to be honest. I very much doubt it. Which is a bit annoying, but hey. You know, between, Seb between Sebastian and Anders, I think I'd go with, well, Anders. Because he's a good healer. His abilities just are great in general, actually. But I might... Yeah, I don't know. I've never picked Sebastian, actually. Fuck off. They've leveled up as well. Okay. Is there anything around here? I doubt it. No. Or there is actually. Oh, 
Play spiders. And then Anders levels up as well, obviously. Hmm. I'll just take that. It's long overdue, I think. Okay. Let's go for that passage and I'll find my evil tome, I think. And then after I deal with the demons there, well, that's gonna be pretty much it. Hmm. There's a golem here, which sells its wares. There's undead as well. Horror killed, enemies defeated. Okay, save here. Is there anything there? Doubt, doubtful, but hey. Oh, actually, there is something here. I'll just take that. Thank you very much. I think I. Hmm. I think I could have picked this up earlier. Maybe I'm mistaken on that. Oh well. The stone that's beneath all. Mathis Garn are born in Pasal Roca a trust. There was supposed to be an evil tome around here actually. But there isn't. I guess I had to Isn't it somewhere else? I don't know. It says nearby, but no. Just a bunch of spider corpses in no a cave or anything. Oh well, I gained some experience from it at least. Well, I'm going to pause the video right here. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.